Okay, guys, we have a pretty large epidermal inclusion cyst here, over four centimeters on the mid sternum under a lot of pressure here. So we could go either way with our scar. Um, for this one, it's more long, so I'm gonna try to go sideways. Sometimes we'll go up and down on the sternum too, just to hide it in the crease. As women get older, they'll get some lateral or straight up and down lines there. Um, but this one we're going to do just a little cut, try and make the scar half the size of the cyst. We're going to squeeze out some of the contents and then remove the sac today. Hey guys, Greg Lynch, Stern PA here, Mr. Pops. We have um, a large cyst here, like we showed you a second ago. Um, four to almost five centimeters, nice and numb, um, under a lot of pressure. So we're going to remove that today. On the chest for a young female, we want to make the smallest scar possible. So we're starting pretty small here. See if we can drain the sac and bring it out through the smaller hole. And dab a little bit there. Just a smidge. That's good. That's good. Looks like watching TV next door, huh? <laughs> Very good. We're almost at the cyst wall here. Dab a little bit there. Are you feeling okay? Uh -huh. Long, slow, deep breaths. Shouldn't have any pain. If you have any pinching, let me know and we'll put extra in. right there. Cyst wall there, don't push too much there. So we do have some fluid in there. There we go. thinking it was inflamed and I was right. <laughs> we had a little bit of redness and inflammation there. It was pretty hard so it was under pressure. There's a lot of fluid in there when it's inflamed like that. A little pressure here. If it's hurting let me know. That's good. Do you want another purple? Uh, no, that's okay. I'll draw them off here. It wipes off really well. I was going to take that pressure down. You're going to sleep a lot better tonight. <laughs> Dab there for me. We're going to get some cyst wall out of there. What makes it difficult when it's this inflamed sometimes is... Sometimes this sack here can be kind of in different pieces and it's hard to get it all out, but we're gonna try. That sack should have greatly shrunk down. <laughs> you know, the sounds are sometimes the worst thing, so. <laughs> Little vessel right there we'll get to 
We'll pressure it for a second. that cyst wall falling apart a little bit. Yeah, it's just kind of, this is what happens on inflamed cysts. It's kind of very goopy. Feeling okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you can kind of see, this is a good um, representation of an inflamed cyst. When we get that fluid out, you can kind of see this is kind of a gelatinous mass in there where there used to be pretty firm cyst materials. This is just a gelatinous mass. So you'll hear me say a lot of times. It is kind of hurting. Yeah, you feel a little at the bottom there? Yeah. So this is just kind of like fork trying to pick up soup. You can't really get all that because it's turned into this just jelly. So we're gonna do a little bit deeper um, lidocaine for her. Hold pressure there and just get a lidocaine. And then we're going to scrape out what we can um, and then we'll have to close it up. But we got all the pressure and most of that. Let me just get new gloves, I'll be right back. A little pinches, a little deeper, okay? Mm -hmm. You feel that a little? Not bad? Yeah. Okay. How about anything there? Not bad? Not bad. Okay. Nothing there? Mm -mm. There now. Okay. Let's see. Let me know if you have any pinching at all. So I use even a extractor like a cure kind of blunt scrape some of that away looks good Never seen one of these. yeah that's because we usually just do INDs mm -hmm. <laughs> this one seemed firm but it was just deeper in there so we're going to remove the top part of that wall there And what we're going to do is actually give you um, some antibiotics to dry things up. Mm -hmm. And I got a lot of that fluid that was causing you pain. Just the pressure there that you had. That's part of the top of the wall there. Let's see what part of the sack we can see down here. Feel a little tugging, any pinch, let me know. It's right there, yeah. a little. Anything here? No. Yeah. One reason. Um, no, we're not gonna dig real deep on that. When we have an inflamed cyst, there's kind of what's called an acid base, um, the acidity of the skin, and it changes the wound to more acidic when there's inflammation or infection. So when you put in lidocaine, which is more of an acid, it doesn't take effect as well. That's why we don't go scraping real deep in there because you'll just feel it. So we don't want to put you through a lot of pain. Also, it's just kind of jelly. You can't ever get all of that. What we do is, you feel a little bit there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We close that up and give you an antibiotic. It's going to dry everything up. And then we're going to recheck. Um, and if it starts to reform when it's dry, then we can pop it out. And the good news is for like cash patients, I charge way less on that too. So <laughs> that'll be better. It's just an IND today. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any big bleeders, which is good. That makes sense why it was so tender though. Yeah, looks good. We'll still have some stitches that we get out in two weeks. Okay.
I'm gonna cut that right out of the base. I know, it's a hard <laughs> angle, isn't it? <laughs> Things on the chest are always tough. glue on there. <laughs> That's what they sometimes do. This doesn't stretch much. Leave a little bit at the edge actually so fluid can drain as we have around the antibiotic. put just a couple small stitches in there. bring the video up here and that was a perfect example of a abscess actually um, an inflamed cyst that had burst that was masking as just a regular large cyst it was pretty firm but it wasn't purple or really red um, on the surface of the skin because it was kind of deeper under there um, and a lot of people ask questions all the time on my abscesses why don't you just cut it open and just scrape everything out we get that question all the time on some of the big abscesses that we drain. You can see here, this is one that we did cut open because it looked like a cyst. And when you get in there, you get the top of that cyst wall and you get all that fluid that we pushed out and some cyst particles. But then when you look down in there, it looks like jelly. There's, there's, no, there's no cyst to grab. Um, we take like a little curette um, or just a, a blunt, um, any type of blunt surface. And we kind of scrape what comes out easily and then we want to close that up give her an antibiotic to dry all that up and you can never get all the cyst lining when it's like that and, and that was a pretty good window into uh, to see that you can't and why you can't is because it's like that so um, we close this up we're going to do an antibiotic to dry it up and then we'll get the stitches out and we we'll monitor this closely in the next three to six months another cyst may form there and then we'll and when it's dry it's way easier to take out so thanks for watching. That was a good example. Um, so a lot of people have that question and it was answered right Okay, guys, this is follow up on the chest of what we thought was just a cyst, but ended up being a small abscess or actually inflamed cyst and healed very well. You can barely see the line there. That little bit of red is just inflammation of her body trying to push out the nylon uh, sutures that were in there. That will go down within five to seven days, but it looks great. All the inflammation is down nice and flat and non-tender. Just wanted to thank her for sharing and it looks good.